These are pomegranates. And our top. The roots will be above, above. This is brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Franklin County Redneck Committee on YouTube. Robert's Review Gardening. These are pomegranate seeds, and our top, the roots will mainly be is above, above. Each balance of these sticks, or right here, six point twelve six and point six. And this is how you read, find out how much food you stick into the plant, and right here shows and all that. Ruler. This is the ruler that you use, and it shows how you do it right here, too. And there's right here, this stick right here is what you use as well. So where people don't lose it, I don't. <laughs> you might want to measure your container, too. Yeah. If you measure one of them, it'll just tell you how all the other ones are. Just have yeah. to measure it. Like this. Six inches. Yep. Yeah. And like that. Wow. Six inches. Like three of them. Because like on the chart. Mm hmm. Five to six inches, you use three of them. Are you going to use that thing to? <clears throat> okay. Let's do this three in each. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, let me stick it in first, the sticks. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here. These because now oh, you got okay and the pork show mm. those seeds. Important okay. things are in these too is that if you put the food up, sticks down, make sure the seed if you're doing it by seed, put them in the center of them three. 
always. Now I'm putting two down like that. Okay. Here is some. I said just to put them in the shadow. Well, I don't want to overdo it. Because when you have a little water, I do. Like, I do them. Well, that's about right here to your finger. Um, doing all of these. Yep. Two seeds, eleven containers. These are pomegranate seeds. They're and our top where the roots will mainly be is above above the soil. Not too far they're not where they reach down into the soil deep into it so when you have when you do plant things and I always want to find out because your soil if your soil is not up to uh, containing to help with, with no uh, nutrients nourishment yeah that and keeping the plant because if wind hits it right you can knock it over and destroy or damage your tree as well but there's cases of people that that's what happened with roots that's not deep into the soil and that's one thing you might want to ask people about when you buy plants and trees or anything like that okay thank you okay how many, how many of those are you going to put in there six for right now and then later on we'll put more but this is just dis dissolve where the, the seeds can have a better way of and we'll build up the, the balance of it Right here. And then you cover it up lightly. All right. We're going to put strawberries in those. First, we got to extract the seeds from these. We found these sitting, I was walking down the street and it was cold and one of the neighbors had taken their potatoes and thrown them out and some strawberries and they also had a, uh, what was that I called it the other day? Mm -hmm. The big red thing. <laughs> Tulip. Oh. Or something like that. But anyhow, they were sitting out there and I looked at them and I was like, heck with that, I'm going to break them down and get the seeds out of them. So, what we're gonna do? Thank 
go ahead. Okay. For the depth of the onions in places, okay, you see how this is. There's one all the way up to 13. Okay. And it, it, some of the onions were even past 13 mark on here. You can take, hey, can you see it? The, In mine, I don't know. Okay. But it went past that uh, depth of the uh, garlic or onions. Yeah. Okay. Went past that. Well then. Yeah. All the way up to the, up to here. So the thing about onions or garlic don't go that far down. Wild ones. That that path. That was just yeah. busted. <laughs> Yeah, we had to use the spade choker. Yeah, and that was a long one at that. Not a small, but the shovels like this long. From my finger to the thing. That's how depth it mm -hmm. on it. And it goes from here to here and not hit the bottom of it. Just get the top of it on the moth. That whole thing of and you don't grow, don't bear, don't grow deep. I'm sorry to say, but they do. Thank you. Man. I'm wanting to hold it to six. It's just kind of see. Yeah, go on. What are you going to be growing with this? What are you growing that with? All the white onions, the, the real small white onions, something to use for stew. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I was, I don't like it. that black, uh, I will. That, I remember we're going for yeah. to march. <clears throat> oh, um, that, uh, Cinnamon, I mean not cinnamon, mint, mint. and that oh lavender. lavender, yeah, and um, and show a picture of that. That's from one year. <laughs> That's what you call keeping it warm <laughs> when it grows like that on the porch, some wild <laughs> from your yard. It's like washing your hands. Put them in between your hands and like you're washing your hands. It just seems easier that way. And then your that fuzzy stuff on there, don't worry about all that. I want to get that, uh, what do you call it? The in acid. What fruit they say. And the best part is, this stuff has like a, it's like almost like coconut here. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to end this part right here. Just so that we get a shot of you doing mm -hmm. that. This is like coconut hair right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fabric is real strong. Okay. And now do it. Make sure it's not nice and tight.
to what one it looks like dry. Yeah, I take them on uh, the shell off of the, them things for the, the mangoes for the seeds. Yeah, this is the process of getting this the seed there. You gotta go through three things to finally get to it. The, the gray that's on it, on there, you have to go through that. This here. It's the skin. The skin. And this here, uh, what you call enzymes, protect the seed. And some kind of fabric, the main thing. Fabric. Oh, no wonder <laughs> people make sure you got one <laughs> This one came out split. Yeah, what we'll get in the center. Wonder if that's what that one guy was talking about. 
He said there was a way to get get them in four pieces. What about my blackness? You know, what is that? I've never seen them. You know. Hmm. Question how they go all the way around right to the stem. And right here on the edge, you can tell the blackness edge. Put these in together. <clears throat> Maybe even six. Gonna put her back in there. So. Let's see that. Yeah. Want to come show it? Get it. Turn. It's the party. Then down here. Turn that other side around. Show it here. See that? Mm -hmm. So that, which I've seen a lot. You can go ahead and wrap it. Okay. Look right. Put this actually in the container. Yeah. Oh. Take the seat out. Oh, just put it in. Put the no. Oh, okay. Put the paper in the container. All right. And that's Robert. He's cutting it. Those tree branches, the small ones he's going to make into compost for the totes. See if that can do a good job or not. See what everybody was sitting there talking about with wood. I had a bottle of water on the ground, thrown over the dirt, moisture and water spread out a lot longer and it helps with plant, plant life and how it keeps longer going without needing more water. All right. We'll find out. And it will be a process of wood, <laughs> paper, and gumballs All right. as well. Two will have wood going well with gumballs. In. We'll see the pH level, how much of water with temperatures, how I will We'll put it all through the test and see what comes out. Okay. Um, you see right here? That's black. Oh, get what's the name of it? Black ginger. Black ginger. Okay. So with a lot of herb helps helps with medical. And you see right here, you got to plant it where the little areas like this right here. It's above ground a little bit. This rest of it. Will roots and it'll start shooting off onto the sides of this, like like this. You see how this is? It will do that. And you see already see it looks like there's like could be pops up of old spots where it's ready to go. You know, you're planting them down in here. Yeah, and I'm planting them 
one here, and you can look and use your imagination about how far apart they are. Here, here, and here. Okay. You want to keep them where they're not. Don't saturate them, but you want to keep them the soil. Show me. Show that black spot too. Okay. Take a picture of it. And right here. Okay. Okay. It's a Yukon Smolanthrus Sanchifolis Rizomi. Or Rizomi. Yeah, this is what that is. Well, when it starts, when it when it gets planted, it will get big. It's a root. It's a root type. Rip. Sorry for me. Root type of it. The red, red, red ball. Where you replant the red ball and the rest, that you process it and clean it up and wide variety of uses. Gourmet mills and all. This is a part of another ginger, black ginger, okay? You see how it's just set up? Because of squirrels, birds, and all. See the little stick right there? That's where the ginger is right there next to it. On each of these. Brown bricks, the way we got it, is to set it up to where the wind or the squirrels do not flip it over and take it. Okay, and we're going to water this, wipe this nice and easy. And this is a winter, only a summer crop. This is not very good for holding too cold of a weather. That's a two. Uh, right here, just spray, put some down there. That's where the peach is buried. Okay. Okay. And these are the other black ginger. Well, You don't want to directly put the water on, let it now this one too, it's got a thing underneath here. You can feel that water up in. Yeah. Let's try. Oh, don't do it now. You gotta water all your stuff. I can come back later and put it in there for you. Oh. That's the reason why I say that. Mm -hmm. And you gotta put them in the right position. This will open this little thing right here, it's gotta stay up. And you gotta make sure this up uh, here don't get added, you know. Go. Did this freaking in April, uh, a week and four days before spring frost, which is April the 22nd. My name is Robert Hansen. I'm ready to till this up, make sure it's well preserved where it does 
air. What do you grow? Uh, carrots, peppers, and two different types of carrots. Can you say I'm growing? I'm growing two different types of carrots and peppers. And by doing so, we got to prep the soil to where get the rocks out and any other foreign objects that can hint right stop the plant from growing correctly. Mm -hmm. And each one will be about the size of like this, depth apart, apart, but cool. we're in, in deep into the soil, no. size of your fingernail, like that, like this. So it's this far apart, yeah. each row, and each row would be like this here. See, that's what I was telling you last year, I noticed when I did the... the Things they actually they did them like pole to pole. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, that's what I what we're going to do is to where the roots. Now, are you going to do a row this way or this way? This way. And to where each one's got enough room to grow and and to expand in growth and all. Are you going to do one row and then wait three weeks? Yeah, I'm going to wait three. Three weeks each row, row, but yeah, each time I have to roll, check the soil, make sure everything else too. And I want to add chopped up, up orange peel. See. Citrus acid will help with the soil um, and the plants. So you got to distinguish between that, between the that's for the peppers, not for the carrots. Well, for the peppers. I'm going to do that to where it helps with the growth and for the insects. Well, because uh, carrots don't have, or they don't, you don't put uh, manure and fertilizer in with it. Oh. Uh, and orange peel. Start killing. <laughs> you just. And you will come across objects and like coal. So where Robert's, uh, these are Robert's uh, ginger. I put some uh, coconut hair on top of them and then I covered them because last night we had a frost come through. And then on the ones that we have out here, I put bags over the top of them to protect them from the frost. And there's my tulip. How you doing, everyone? <laughs> my name is Robert Hansen. We're going to be putting, putting in this one, the big carrots in this one. All right, so they're supposed to get longer, the wider than the regular ones. And that one, you're going to put the regular ones? Yeah. We're going to put three rolls of them in there, but we're going to do it all on this one because the size, and nobody really knows how long and how long it's going to take. Okay, and then we'll be seeing how long it takes for them to develop, weeks, months, the height, how thick, and how much soil. And how remember, remember to tell too that you're going to only do them because like every three weeks you got to. Well, every three weeks in that tub there, there, in, yeah. Okay. You got to replenish your crop. Replenish the crop. And we're going to reseed. We're looking to harvest the seeds from all of them, too. And weather Hold on. and all. So right here. That's how about how much is in this container here? To one gallon. Yeah, but right here. 
what it says on the gallon. And you see for yourself, this is nothing but orange peel. And it, with the inside of it, it's got citrus acids and other building material for plants. So citrus acids helps keep the insects and all away as well too. You're using this in your peppers. Yeah, peppers and other plants as well. It depends on what plants. You always got to find out first what you can do with what plants with what you got to use. And if you can't afford for stuff, this is the way we're going about doing it to help out our plants as well. How did you make it? I took all the potato, uh, orange pillings, broke them up, and I have an old blender. I throw a little bit here, a little there into it, and, and turn it on and let it chop up fine pieces. Some of it's not too fine, but it's a lot bigger, it's a lot smaller than what it was before. And, and what you do as well is you turn it through the, the, where you're putting your seeds at too. And plants that you can put with this with. And it helps. And I'm going right to here. Okay. Depth of it. Or the length. The length. In between. Yeah, you're got what you're saying. Well, that has to be a foot apart. Yeah, and Three. Okay, here's the thing. You see these two bars here? I want to not go to one to the right. I'm going to I might need a little bit more space and a little bit more dirt, so I'm going to go to every other bar, people. Because I do not know the circumstances to the size or what you would need. And I'm using this right here to, for a guide. And I'm going by the same depth as I did before. You just walk that. Just do it from that pole and then walk around. Wait, not yet. <laughs> I was thinking coming from my direction. Are you doing all of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right here is the third pole. Yeah. Right here. It's always the second pole I don't use. I'm going to split this if I have to put over the top of the other. And then you see right here. Because these are supposed to be giant carrots. Yep. Word. 
real tall. Okay. I would show a picture, but it's on the internet. I'm sure you're going to do that. I just did your other one where you were doing that. So all you got to do is get those pictures together and make your video, and I'll stream it for you like I did the other one. Right here, right here. Thank you. See how far that is? There you go. Yeah, now we're going to do carrots. This size one. Okay. I'm going to pinch some in my hand. Put in the roof. You'll see. Just put the bag in the in the thing. Don't don't dump the bag. Fine. In. There you go. Our watchdog is loose. Just do each pinch where the poles go. You don't have to do more than one. Fine. Because those they gotta be they gotta be. A distance between mm -hmm. these poles, so don't waste them. You don't do it twice. Just take a pinch and sprinkle. Are you like literally trying to grab one seed? I don't know. I got like that. Okay. But I want to make sure they don't get stuck in between your fingernails. Can you reach that? I want this one. What? I don't want it to be dead on All you gotta do is take your hand yeah, and just press it. But some of them big old clumps don't want to make a big old clump where it sinks that in too dang far. carrots that we don't really know how big how wide or well we'll see when they, when they start to grow yeah. show your bag these are supposed to be the big carrots yeah and we'll we don't know and look at this and they look the same way as the others Remember, you got to keep in your distance.
Always make sure they don't get caught up in between your finger right now. Put that last one over here. Oh yeah, you still got more. Yep. Okay. okay, people, are we doing peppers? Roll it till this up, get it correct, loosen the soil, make sure it's all nice and drainage wise, loosen it up where the seeds don't get crushed by the heaviness of it. And you, you know. And you can tell too, if there's anything in the soil that needs to be taken up. Oh yeah, and we're gonna be adding some, we're gonna be adding some, uh, um, uh, oh, onions. To no, it. It, um, orange orange peelings to it okay and what i want to do is put it all through the garden this here and then i want to mix it up into the soil where it's got a good pile of orange saturate orange orange peels. orange peels and orange it will help keep the insects mosquitoes supposedly up and out okay in you till it into the soil. You till it into the soil. It has um Don't worry, when you start uh, tilling, it'll go right up in there. So, like I said, just tap like that. You don't have to worry about all that other stuff. Just tap it. Start here. <laughs> like you're chopping. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now you can see, I have to make sure all the orange pills are in all over. Yeah, they didn't say specifically how far apart or anything like that. They just said a quarter of an inch. Well, just in case of... I don't know.
have 200 peppers. I'm gonna take and take a picture of that. I don't think I did already, did I? Uh -uh. Okay. And we're going to You can just sprinkle them down in there and the way you want. Still got more to do, huh? Okay. Now you just cover them. Yep. All done. I also want to point out that Robert put uh, his uh, shredded orange pills which has citric acid in it inside of the no, tub inside the tub with the ginger and the tulips he doing it because he says they will help keep the insects and everything away and we'll find out these are pomegranates and our top the roof will be with you above, above. this was brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Franklin County Redneck Committee on YouTube Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.
these are pomegranate seeds. And our top, the roots will mainly be is above, above 